Now remember in the book of John chapter 4, hallelujah, when Jesus said from verse 22 to 24, amen, he said that the hour comes. He said you worship, you know not, but we know what we worship. I'm helping somebody here. And he said the hour cometh that the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, I hear your word. Say, from today, I will worship you in spirit and in truth. Take away every flesh in me. Take away every lie in me. Take away every self-consciousness in me. Father, glorify yourself through your word today. I'm here to listen and to be a doer of your word. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You know, as I was coming up, the Spirit of God ministered that unto me. He said, Son, this is the hour. Hallelujah. He said, This is the hour I've been talking about. It is here. And as he was talking, amen, when you follow up also, the Bible said, Jesus said something. He said, in the last days, many will turn away from the truth. So don't be deceived what you are seeing. Many people don't want to hear truth today. People love when I tell them, oh, everything is okay. It's okay. So somebody say, it's not okay. I'm as well somebody here. Hear me and hear me well. If you are the one that must go to heaven, I will take you to heaven. Oh, you did not hear what I said. I said, if you are the one I must take to heaven, you will go to heaven. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor I am living this life, I'm living this life to, make to, to make it to heaven. Say, nothing can stop my heaven. Nothing can stop my, nothing heaven. Can stop my, flight. Nothing can stop my flight. You will not stop me. You will not stop Tell me. your neighbor, say, you will not stop me. You will not stop me. I will make it. I will make it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Listen to me. We are in the days of evil. But you know it did not start today. Turn with me to the book of Acts chapter 2. Okay, let's do Acts chapter 5 first. Do Acts chapter 5. Amen. Acts chapter 5. These days many love false doctrines. Many, many people love doctrines of the flesh. Many people love when their pastor dance to their tunes. Someone is saying, break to fire. It will never happen. As long as you don't call me, I will never listen to you. I will listen to God. Amen, somebody. It is too much. Your people are crying. They are suffering, but they don't want to serve God. You know what God said? He said, with their mouth, they are calling, but their heart is far from me. May your heart be with God. Yeah. Don't serve God with your lips. Don't come to church, of course, for pastor's sake. Please, if that's your reason, stop coming to church. Me, I'm begging you. If you are coming for me, don't come to church. Yeah. I'm asking you somebody. Come because you love God. Somebody say, I love God. Yeah. Say it again. Say, I love God. Yeah. This day is so easy for people to hate God. I'm to somebody here. Some people want to where we all can be jamming butts together. And we drink together too. Are we together? We say, ah, our church is lively. We, are, we can drink. Our pastor is okay. Some, somebody say, it's not okay. Yes. Ah, is this a club? Do you know what it's called? It is called the house of God. And if you belong to the house of God, it says, be holy for I am Are we together? May your ears be open to the truth. Amen, somebody. No wonder I said in the last day, he said, not all that said, Lord, 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 will enter. Too many false worshippers that won't they are like God for in this church. Amen. If you don't love God, it will point out your fault. But I pray you will see your fault and, and turn around. I'm asking somebody. Turn 
turn around and do the truth. Because why you don't serve man, you serve God. In Acts chapter 5, thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody say, thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody say, thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read quickly. Read from verse 14 because of time. Okay, let's read from verse 12. Amen. Let's read from verse 12. We'll go faster. Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 5. From verse 12. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And of the rest does no man join himself to them, but the people magnify them. And believers were the more added to the Lord. Multitudes, both of men and women. Someone say, Amen. Someone say amen. Amen. Who added to them? Believers. Someone say believers. believers. Someone say believers. believers. When you are following Christ, you are a believer of Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come to him with all your heart. Hallelujah. That's why Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 say, it says, and lean not on your own understanding. Amen, somebody. Amen. Otherwise, you are taking the place of God. It will kick you. Are we together? Lean not on your own understanding. If you are not open up for the word of God to change you, you are an antichrist. God, antichrist know the truth, but is working against the truth. Are we together? Yes, I love the miracles. I love the praise. I love the worship. I love the signs and wonders. Thank God he's doing all of them through me. But he said, don't bend. Speak the truth. Amen, amen, somebody. Without the word of God, which is the truth, there will be no signs and wonders. There will be no what miracle. And thank God, if it was man that was giving those things, they will fire me. <laughs> they will say from today, no signs and wonder. Are we together? But eh, eh, as long as it's coming from God and he's pleased, <laughs> I'm happy. Someone say, I'm happy. Happy. Someone say I'm happy. I'm happy. Someone say I'm happy. I'm happy. Hallelujah. Amen. Believers, we are the more added to the church. So when you are seeing growth in the church, you are seeing the true believers, the true worshippers. You must embrace them and thank God. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Verse fifteen. In so much that they brought forth the sick unto the street. And lay them on beds and couches. That at the least the shadow of Peter. Amen. Passing by might overshadow some of them. There came also a multitude out of the cities. Round about unto Jerusalem. Bringing sick folks. And them which were vexed with unclean spirits. And they were healed. Everyone. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. They were what? Healed everyone. Wow. Why? They were true believers. Who were following the apostles. And because of that, the people were blessed. Amen. Are we together? Yes, sir. Not only for you, for somebody else also. Somebody say amen. Amen. Look, let's move down quickly. Verse 17. He said, then the high priest rose up. And all they that we are with him, which is the sect of the Sadducees, and we are filled with indignation. They were vexed because they were doing the right thing. And laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go, stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. I come to bring a message to you today titled the words of this life. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. Say it with me. Say the words of this life. The word of this life. Say it again. The words of this life. The words of this life. What life am I talking about? The life of a believer. 
If you are a believer, be a believer. Act as a believer. Think like a believer. Do as a believer. Worship as a You cannot be in between. Jesus said, he said, my father will spew you out. My father will be what? Spew you out. So it's time to tighten your seatbelt. It's time if your pants is running down, buckle it up. Because we are in the last days. It is appointed for a man who wants to die after that the judgment. These are the days that the, the world today need to hear these messages. Why? So many false prophets have come out. Who will not tell you the truth? They will not prophesy to you because they want your money. Am I speaking to somebody here? Who just wants to say, oh, you are my brother, so that's why we can dance. We are the same tribe, or we are the same nation, or we are the same. But we are living in sin. You know it. If you see me living in sin, leave me. I'm asking you somebody here. Sir. Hey, hey, hey. These are the days when the Lord is speaking. I'm helping somebody here. I'm helping somebody here. Serve him with all your heart. You will see God's mercy and favor. Someone say amen. amen. Someone say amen. Amen. It's not time to play church. If, let, let, me, let me say something. If you love God, it will pain you when you see people playing. Not unbelievers. I'm talking about people who say who think they believe. But when they are playing, it will hurt you. I might be somebody here. And they are, they are weak ones also. They say, oh, maybe that one is weak. Maybe that's where I fit. You will go to hell. I must you somebody. Yes, sir. If you are looking for a weak church, no wonder the Bible said in Revelation chapter 2, go and read it to the church in Sardis, to the church in Philadelphia, to all the churches. He said, you are doing the but. May God not find but in your life. I said, may God not find but in our lives. Amen. You do all of these but, you are slack. You don't have this but, you are sinning. You don't have this but, you are not worshipping. You don't have this but, we are, we are, the churches have become a place of ordinary gathering just for socialization. When you put spirituality in church, people, people begin to resent. Pastor is too holy. That church, they are too holy. The church of God is holy. Somebody say, say the church of God is holy. The church of God is say holy. Say it again. Say the church of God is holy. The church of God is holy. Otherwise, who are we worshipping? God or man? Or mammon? Is God a true God or a false God? Who don't have ear that can hear? Who does not have eyes that can see? Who does not have mouth and that can talk? Who does not have feet that can move? Who does not is our God just put somewhere that we can do anything that we not talk? The world is getting bad. Open your eyes, somebody. Amen. Am I still somebody here? Yes, sir. Open your eyes. The time has come. Someone said the time has come. The time has come. You want to come to see God's goodness? Just give him little holiness time. It's so easy and sweet to serve God. I'm enjoying my life. I'm helping somebody. I'm what? Enjoying my life. Because day by day, it's showing me goodness. Day by day, it's open doors unto me. Day by day, it's exalting my name. Amen. Why? Sacrifice the flesh. It's easy. Tell your neighbor, say it's easy to serve God. Find another neighbor. Say it's easy to, to serve God. It's easy to serve God. Hallelujah. The time has come. Someone said the time has come. The words of this life is the words that will bless you. It's the words that will lead you out to worship God. It's the words that will correct you so that you can become perfect and holy before him. I'm asking you somebody here. The hour has someone said the hour has come. The hour has come. How many of you love God? How many of you love Him? You love Him. Hallelujah. He said the hour 
has come when the true worshippers look at this in John turn with the book of John John chapter 4 thank you Holy Spirit John chapter 4 look at it for verse 22 let's take it for verse 21 amen from verse 21 John 4, verse, from verse 21. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh. When, what will happen? You shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, worship the Father. You worship. You know not what we, you know not what. Say, we know what we worship. For salvation is what? Of the Jews, but the hour cometh and now is. When who? To worship. Who? Who? The true worshiper. Who? The true worshiper. You don't say any any worshiper. I say the true worshippers will worship the Father. You see that? Amen. Someone say amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I read again. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such. For the Father seeketh such. That means the Father himself is looking for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. So you say you love God? God is looking in the inside of you. He's looking for those that will worship him in truth and in spirit. So when you love him, you must get reward from him. He must notice you. Are we together? God must notice your service. God does, must notice your sincerity of heart towards him. God must see that you die to the flesh to please him. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are we together? You see believers say, oh, I know that believers, they are sinning. Nobody's talking. Not, not in my watch. Are we together? How, how can, we, can we fool ourselves? How can we continue to fool ourselves thinking we are serving God but we are not serving God? At the end of the day, when you will stand before judgment, will you say, that's what my pastor was teaching me? Or will you say, oh, my pastor, no, but he was, he was a representative of God. He did not say nothing. Are we together? Are we together? Yes, sir. Fear him and serve him well. For the Father seeketh such. The point is, are we pleasing him? To know him is one. To please him is another thing. You are saved to please him. Tell your neighbor, say you are saved to please God. Say it again. Say you are saved to please God. You are saved to please God. When you please God, He will do marvelous things in your life. I was telling somebody, many people come to this ministry, many people come to me for prayer and so on. God will show them mercy, He will heal them, He will deliver them. Do you know why? He just wants to show them how, if you serve me, how much more will I do for you? Do you think you are righteous when God heals you? Do you think you are righteous when God deliver you? No. no it is mercy he's showing to you. So, so that now if you serve me, imagine what I have in store for you. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Are we together? Yes, sir. Position yourself. God is looking for a man. May it be used. You must, you must be happy that I'm serving God. Father, here am I. Send me. Father, here am I. Change me and be ready to be changed. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Say thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Ghost. For the Father seeketh such, my God, to what? To worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen? Verse 24. Technical move as I speak. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. In the book of Genesis, chapter... Let's go to Genesis quickly. No mention it. I say, ah, don't enter too much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Someone say, thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. When you take it from, from chapter 6, Genesis chapter 6, amen, about the great flood, there were too many false worshippers. Too many what? False worshippers. But they were not serving God. That it grieved God that he had made man. And he said, I will destroy all that I have made. But there was a man. Someone said, a man. Say, say, say a man. A man. There was a man that caught the eyes of God. He feared God. I believe when Noah was moving about, they were laughing at him. Oli, oli. Oli, oli, we are enjoying life. You said you are, you are serving God, holy, holy. But he maintained himself. He maintained his household. Are you maintaining yourself as a believer? Are you striving to, to be like him? Are we together? So. Let the old man die. Let the old habits die. Let the old way of worshiping God die. Because I've realized that the old way of worshiping God is filthiness before God. Where when after service we go outside we drink. There is a bar outside. We sit down and drink. We see our fathers doing it. Our mothers doing it. Our uncles doing it. Everybody doing it. We thought it was good. I'm going to somebody here. We are reverend, we stand up there, or pastor, and have girlfriends in the church. We thought we were just having God. God just wanted us to just talk. He does not want our body. We saw our fathers doing it. Brothers doing it. As soon as God bless them, the next thing is to make sure they put bar in their house. Bar, bar. We begin to put all the, some believers, some of you, you have it in your houses. Alcohol. Line up. You two want to show that you have by in your house. But you say you are a believer. I'm asking you somebody. Yes, sir. You say, oh, we are just feeling fine. Feel fine. Keep on feeling fine. Who are you worshipping? Who is your God? I might be somebody here. Yes, sir. You say, oh, it's a design. No, it's not a design. You are serving the devil. Because when the temptation comes, you go and turn small. When somebody comes to you, you want to make as if that's not money. You don't have money. You are poor. That's fake life. Am I seeing somebody here? Yes, sir. Fake. Amen? Amen. Build an altar for God, not a bar in your house. Put somewhere, you put your Bible there. Sacred place where you can pray. Not to when somebody enters here, they don't see that you are a believer. What they see? Bar. Will you, invite, will you invite that person to church like this? You know why many people don't come to this church? Because of holiness. Because of righteousness. They want, they want me to, to shut my mouth. Don't talk. Pastor, don't talk. Go to a church that they don't talk. Go. Keep on going. The end shall justify the means. Hey. Am I still somebody here? Yes, sir. Somebody, enough is enough. Serve God righteously. Listen to me. I don't care what they call you. I don't care if they fire you from your job for righteousness. I don't care if your father, your mother say we disown you because you are making as if you, are, you have taken over now. They did it to Joseph. His brothers hated him. What was the end? They bowed to him. May you stand until God honor you. Amen. I'm asking you somebody here. Stand the test of time. God will honor you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to me. The enemy will come. He will not come with horns. Satan does not appear with horns anymore. Is it like? 
Amen, somebody. We come in different forms, different ways to deceive you to stop worshiping God in spirit and in truth. Amen. It will come. He never said it will not come. He's here. Some of you, as you are sitting here now, you are thinking far. You are thinking evil. Correct it now because it's no joke. If you are here to serve God, serve God. I might be somebody. If you know the number of people that are crying, if God was a man, he would kill people every day. Every day people will be dying for nothing. He will just say, I hate you. Go. You hate me, but I hate you. You hate me, I hate you. Thank God he's a God of love. I might be somebody here. Yes, sir. If it was not for God, will you be here today? No, sir. Amen, somebody. Amen. No, I faced all the persecutions. They call him names. But God said, I look, there is nobody, only one man. He called him Noah. Evil has come up to me too much. I'm about to destroy. He said, build me an ark. Will you build God an ark? Where is the ark that you are building to God? Where is your altar, your temple that you are building to God? Amen, somebody. Where is the ark? Build me an ark. Say, God, is it you? Ark. Give him the dimension. Big. Wide. How many stories? He said, wow. When he started building, they said, we know it. This God you say you are serving, we know, we know you are mad. We know you have gone mad. We know you have gone mad. We just read Acts. Who arrested the apostles? Who arrested the apostles? Why did they arrest the apostles? For preaching the gospel. So if you are preaching the gospel and they are persecuting you, hold on, the angel will, will save you. Amen. He sent the angels and saved them. He said, go back and preach to the people. And maybe somebody, Amen. speak the truth, let the devil be put to shame. That's why you are a believer. We have been saved to make a difference in the world. We have been saved to preserve the world. If there is no Christ, there will be no world today. Because God will have destroyed the world again. I'm asking you to somebody. Noah built the ark. They laughed at him. They scorned him. I believe they were raising prizes up on him also. He wanted to build ark. Until the flood came, the Bible said God shut the door. God what? Shut the door. The time is coming you know, when God is about to shut the door. When that trumpet shall sound. Do you know why Jesus said the hour cometh? That only the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. When that trumpet shall sound. It is those who are worshipping the Father in spirit that will hear that trumpet. I might be somebody. It's a spiritual trumpet. That we sound. Hallelujah. Spiritual trumpet. Will you hear it? Is your ears attuned to God's spirit? Are you listening to the word of God and tremble? Or you are just saying, oh, pastor, preach, it's time we want to go home. What are you hearing? As I'm talking to you, it's the spirit of God ministering to you also. Amen, somebody. Serve him. God shut the ark door. They were banging at the door. Noah, we are sorry. Noah, we are sorry. We, we thought you were joking. As if God is a joker. So many people, that's what they think God is. They thought God is a joker. Because they did not see him yesterday when they were sinning. Because God left them. He did not kill them when they were committing sin. They thought that's how God is. You can just do anything. I might be somebody here. They say, oh, as long as God did not kill me, no man will kill me. Man will not kill you. You will see it. 
Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. They, oh yeah. They were weeping, crying. The water was coming up. The water was coming up. The water was coming up. They get to their neck. They say, oh, oh. I think this man was real. May you not be at that door knocking and say, indeed, this man was real. I might be somebody here. Yes, sir. They did it to Jesus. He came with the light. He healed them. Their own children, their father, their mother, their uncle, their auntie. Amen, somebody. But they said, oh, we must kill him. So if they are doing it to you, don't be, don't vex, so oh, keep on serving God more. Amen. But if you say, ah, they are killing me too, I must join them. Yeah, yeah, I beg you, you are going to hell. Amen, somebody. Amen. If you are joining to kill the apostles of today, talking about pastors today, talking about churches today, you have become what the mouthpiece of the devil. Because the devil is fighting now against the church. Against the true worshippers. I must you somebody here. Because why? They don't want to hear the truth anymore. But as you are here, may the Holy Spirit minister to you. Amen. I said, may he minister to you that you will hear the truth. Amen. And speak the truth. Amen. And defend the truth. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. They died in the flood. But the rapture is not going to, it's not going to be like the flood. The rapture is a spiritual trumpet that will blow. He that has spiritual ear will hear. He that does not will not hear. And if you don't hear, you cannot go. I cannot say, I hear half. There is no half here. Amen, somebody. No, say, I, I, I hear small. It's either you are in or you are out. Jesus said, You cannot be in between. I am serving God, though, but I'm enjoying small, small. I'm serving, I'm cutting small, small. I'm serving, oh, but you know, the loss of the eyes is difficult to abstain. I'm serving God, oh. But me, when they hurt me, I don't take it. Which God are you serving? Amen, somebody. Amen. Which God are we serving? Hallelujah. They did all to Jesus. They did all to all the men of God that I know. They did all to believers who stand the time. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Go to verse 8. Chapter 8, sorry. Go to chapter 8. Verse 1 says, And God remembered Noah and everything, and all the cattle and everything that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth, and the water a swag. The water stop and they begin to go down. God, what remember Noah? Will God remember you? The house of God, the house of God should be like a training camp. When you come in, like a, like a soldier, when you graduate, you, they, they release you into the community. You are there to keep the peace. You are there to, to show what the government wants. Amen, somebody. But if you are refusing to be in the military of God, if you are refusing to be in the military of God, will God use you? When, when the enemy come, will you hear? Will you be able to defend? Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I come to take you deeper. These days, God said, he said, he said let them come and draw from me. I may be somebody. Yes, he died for all, but he said, whosoever believeth. And you cannot be a believer and be a, a what? A sinner at the same time. Two things cannot go together. The world is evil. 
It's summertime. Oh, people say, oh, let's enjoy summer. Is that how believers enjoy summer? To live in sin? Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. All of us want God to do something for us. The same God. Why can't you just turn around a little bit? Take God seriously. Serve him seriously for one moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all is righteousness. All is righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto you. Are you seeking God? Are you seeking God? God said, keep on teaching. See, they need to hear the truth. Not all the time to come receive. You will receive. You are receiving now. This is the best food. And maybe somebody here. You are blessed. Yes, you are blessed. But you must, you must know that you are blessed. If you don't get the word, how will you know the blessing? How will you be able to handle the blessing of God? Because if you reject God's word, you are rejecting him, himself. You remember that today? Are we together? I mean, if you want to worship God in spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Fear him. Someone say, fear him. Fear him. Fear him. The Bible said in 1 Samuel, amen, is it chapter 16? When Samuel went down to Jerusalem, when God told him, say, go down there. I have found me a king because I have rejected Saul. Saul started well, but he chose other paths. He began to serve other gods. He fell. God. He was doing very well. But he began to worship other gods. He began to kill the prophets of God. And then God said, I have found me another one. Go down to Jerusalem. He said, go in the house of Jesse. Do you know what Samuel said? He said, God, you know, if I go, Samuel, Saul is still on the throne. If he see me go there, he will also kill me. As he has been killing other prophets. He said, go, go. He said, when you go, I will show you what to do. He said, when you go, tell them that you have come to sacrifice. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Tell them you are what? Come to sacrifice. So the Bible said, when he arrived, as they saw him, everybody go to their position. Let me read it for you. Go to go to the book of 1 Samuel. Thank you, Jesus. Are you, are you receiving from God today? The Bible says you shall know the truth. The truth shall make you free. And whom the Son of Man sets free? Free indeed. It's free indeed. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Say thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. My God is a good God. Go to 1 Samuel chapter 16. Read from verse 4. I'll read from verse 4. Amen. I'll just take 4 and 5 for time. 1 Samuel 16, 4 and 5. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled. Somebody say, the elders trembled. The elders tremble. Say it again. The elders tremble. The elders tremble. At his coming. And said, Comest thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably. I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. 
sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. When he entered, you know what? The elders tremble. Where is that fear today? When you see a man of God, you say, oh, man of God is here. I'm asking you somebody. Where is the fear? The elders tremble. Come peaceably. Because they know that if the man of God just utter one word that does say the Lord, you shall die. They know that they will die. Are we together? Don't say the Lord. You have been doing this, doing this, doing this. God has seen you. So when the man will appear, fear. Do you have fear for God today? Do we, have, do we, do we fear God? Do we fear his servants that when they come, they come to, to show us the way, the truth? Or oh, you are used to, to drinking with, with men of God. You, you two drink. Or lying together with the man of God. Fornicating together with the man of God. The man of God knows your girlfriend. You know his, his, his own girlfriend too. No more fear. But the Bible says what? When the man of God is come in fear. They put themselves together. Come it down peaceably. You no, know, they try to mesmerize so that it doesn't give prophecy that we kill their generation. Amen, somebody. Amen. Are we together here? Yes, sir. Do you have fear for God? Do you, you reverence him at all times? Whether you see him or not, whether you see a man of God or not, whether you see a brother believer or a sister believer or not, do you still fear him? And these days, many people are very smart. They try to get somebody to join them in sin so that they can encourage themselves together. Some of you that are following friends, because your friends sin, you too, you support your friend, you have, you have just done the same sin. Amen, somebody. Amen. You, just, you just commit the same sin. Go and read Romans chapter 1. Amen. You say that supports. You see, you have committed the same sin. Whether it's those that are, that, are, that are thieves or liars or fornicators or gays and lesbians, you support them. You don't do it, you just support them. The Bible says you have committed the same sin. So some of you that say, oh, that's their lifestyle. I like him. I like, I, I like the way he's doing it. So hey, you are committing the same sin. You know why? You are encouraging them to do it against God. And before God, the Bible says it's an abomination. Clap for Jesus if your hands are free. Anything that is an abomination to God, you must hate it. You must refrain from, from it. Refrain from it. That's how they will know that indeed you are a child of God. Refrain. Bible say, come out from among them and be ye what? Separate. Check the Bible. All those God called or God bless, he took them out and bring them somewhere else. He say, walk alone before me. God does not call you and crowd. Oh, you did not hear what I said. God does not call you and crowd. When you are saved, you were saved alone. Father, come into my heart, forgive me. And he enter your heart. Did you do it with many people? I might be somebody here. Sir. Open your spiritual eyes and see. Don't let somebody take you to hell. Oh, it's my brother, but he said he's a gay. And you too, is it? Well, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, we accept him in the family. If you are the one that is saved, say, nope, not me. I love him as a brother. I hate what he's doing. How much is there somebody here? Yes, sir. Let them drive you. Let them say we take your, our name. You are not, you are not Davis anymore. He said, you don't you know that my name is Jesus Christ? How much is there somebody here? Who do you fear, man or God? That's the point. Who do you fear? When a sister is committing sin, lying against a brother, lying against a sister in the church, do you support them? Say, it's true, these people, we are just going to church. You have just committed the same sin. The same. No difference. 
<laughs> Are we together? Yes, sir. When you stand before God in judgment, you see the same darkness in you. You say you should have corrected the sister or corrected the brother. Those of you, I'm not going back to all those teachings. Amen. We look at it in Matthew chapter 18. Amen, somebody. Jesus himself teach about all these things. But the point is, are you serving God in fear and in trembling? In Acts chapter 2, look at Acts chapter 2 quickly, so that we can go into our Holy Communion. How many of you come with your, with your um, prayer requests? How many of you come with your prayer requests? I mean, if you hear that you're supposed to come with a prayer request and you, and you forget, you hear it. I mean, if you did not hear it, I can't see your hand. Those who did not hear it, I see their hand is, you know that way, right? Amen. Now the question, are you in the church, what's up? Are you in the church, what's up? Okay, well, who else did not see it here? That's in the church, what's up? Over there, are you in the church, what's up? Are you in the church, what's up? Can you see messages? Are you reading the church, what's up? So you have to read every day. It's like you're going on your, on your internet every day, right? Checking your, your mail every day. So you must check the church mail every day. Is the mail coming to you? What, what message do we have today? What announcement? King, it is called kingdom business. Amen? We should engage more with kingdom business. Are we together? Engage with what? Kingdom business. When you went, the kingdom business is that you are promoting God's work. You want to know what's the announcement? What are we to do? When are we to come to church? What's the program for today? What's coming up? And then what you do? When you know it, you can tell it to somebody else. Amen? I mean, if you are not on the church, what's up? If you are not on the church, what's up? Lift up your hand. And I can see all of you are not members. Amen? Amen? I mean, if you know somebody else inside this church that's, that's, that's not on the church, what's up? So you that are members are in the church, share it with them. Amen, somebody? When you receive, share to 20, 20 people. I might be somebody here. Amen? Otherwise, you are not promoting the kingdom of God. The Bible says, Acts 19, verse 20. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. So you realize that you will be stagnated because why you are not promoting the kingdom, of, the kingdom of God. Are we together here? But want to be blessed. Also, promote God's work. Someone say amen to that. Someone say amen to that. Some of you drop out of the, of the church was up. I can see some of you here. Amen? If you have dropped out, let me see your hand. Uh, why the hands are not coming up now? I'm seeing everybody. I know all of you. Amen? You saw too many messages. You don't love God. You don't love the church. Delete the other apps that are wasting your time. Keep what belongs to God. It's, that's where you, your growth is. That's where your blessing comes from. Am I helping somebody here? Amen. If you are busy with other things, taking your time, but you are not engaging in the things of God, you, are not, you don't love Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. How many of you love this church? No, you can be coming, but you, you are just hanging. I'm not sure. You know, when people usually come to me for prayer, you know what? one thing I hate? Let me tell you the truth. When you come gossiping against other men of God, or it, 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 it hurts me. Because the same way you are coming to, to gossip other men, is the same way you go and gossip me. Are we together? The same way. So as they start, I say, shut up. Don't tell me what the man of God do to you. You are, you, you are insubmissive. You know, as I said, if you cannot tell your man of God, your pastor, your situation, but you are coming to tell me that you are not fit to be under him. 
and I will not pray for you. Are we together? When you have a pastor, you submit to your pastor. These days, people don't want to submit to, I only submit to God, me, I don't submit to man. You are a liar. You hate God. Amen, somebody? There is no way, just like when Jesus comes. He said, look at all of you. He said, you are faking as if you are serving God. He said, from now on, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. They say, hey, so you want to come and break our protocol here? He said, whether you like it or not, it is established. Amen, somebody? No, it's too much in the community. I know all of, all of you. You know me, I'm a man of God. Amen? It's too much. It's too much. Oh, don't, start, don't worship me. Why are you worshiping your pastor? Did, did, did you come to worship pastor? But you will hear a pastor. If you don't hear a pastor, you cannot hear God. Amen? You must hear. You, listen to me. Until you change, you will not see the goodness of God. I must do somebody here. Change the old thing. Change what the multitude are saying outside. They are speaking from the mouth of the devil. Because why? The devil don't want to see the work of God progress. So the first thing the devil is attacking is not you, it's the head. Trying to cry down the men of God so that you don't have faith on what they are telling you. Then what will happen? Your spiritual life will die. That's it. I might be someone, if you cannot listen to what I'm telling you, you cannot grow spiritually. It will be called, you know, it's called self-righteous. You think you are righteous, but you are very filthy before God. Somebody have to tell you, oh, clean your eye. Somebody will tell you, oh, put your pants well. Somebody will tell you, oh, dress up nicely. Somebody will tell you, oh, you are looking good. The God, God will use you. Somebody will, I might tell somebody here. Don't think it's yourself that will tell you you are good. It's a lie. I might tell somebody. Yes, sir. Nobody gets up until somebody brings him up. No wonder many are perishing. Many are dying. Many people today are regretting life. Because they choose the wrong path. Many people today, they have cursed their helpers in life. Now they are perishing. How can I go back to my helper? Amen, somebody. Many say, hey, in their secret, they are talking. Hey, if I was with that man of God, this problem would have been solved a long time. I know it. But evil communication, evil association corrupts good manners. I might be somebody here. No wonder they have become spiritual prostitutes. Today they are there. Tomorrow they are there. They are looking for somewhere. You have missed it. You have missed it. Amen, somebody. When the Spirit of God leaves you, you suffer. If he has ordained that you will become a man of God one day, or a woman of God one day, and then you kick your blessing, never become. You only be passing like a fly. When you go there, as you go, are you a spiritual fly? Amen, somebody. Do you know what is making a fear? It's a habit. You have failed to deal with it in the beginning. You fly. And you, you, the same habit, you went, they will fly you again. Amen, somebody. So many are dying today. Nothing is coming good out of them. But today God is bringing somebody out here in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who puts envelope on my, on my altar? You just drop oh. it. How did it come out? How, that's my tight. How did it come out for my suit? It just was, was I moving? It just came out. Fiam. Exactly. You must go back where you come from. That's what some, some people need to do. Go back from the root where you made the mistake. Amen. Go back to your man of God. Amen. Go lie down and say, Father, forgive me, sir. That's it. Hallelujah, somebody. You see how God can preach? He helped me to preach now. My heavy will fall. He go back. Amen. God is good. And all the time. Let me round up. Act chapter 2. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Act chapter 2. 
Let's read from verse 41. Act 2, verse 41. Thank you, Jesus. Then they that gladly receive his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Those who gladly received the word of God. May you gladly receive the word of God today. Listen to me. Even if you're still making mistakes, let the word of God change you. All you have to do is listen. Father, you speak to me today. I know it is me. I thank you because you are a merciful God. Have mercy upon me, O oh God. The Bible says he forgives you and he will not remember it anymore. And don't walk in, in guilt after that. If you sincerely ask him for mercy, he forgives you. Whenever God speaks, he speaks to somebody to help somebody. Before, before a fall, there is always a warning. Do you know that? Before a fall, there is always a, a warning. The point is, when you hear the warning, did you listen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Verse 42. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. They continue steadfastly. That means not sometimes. Continuously. We are here on Sunday. We are here Wednesday. We are here Friday. We are here Sunday. We are here Wednesday. We are here Friday. You, you understand? It's their lifestyle to grow spiritually. They create time. They did not say, I don't have time. Are we together? If you love God, you must create time for God. That's the secret. If you love him, create time for him. If you don't create time for him, you still say, I don't have time, then you still don't love God the way you should. You're only giving God what is left over. He has not become your first in life yet. Push it. The same way you need that day off when you have something else. Ask for that day off to come to church. Amen. Push it that your, that your, your schedule be changed. Press. They will know that indeed you are serious. Until you show them that you are serious, they will not give it to you. Am I speaking to somebody? Sir. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at verse 42. I close there. And fear came upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. When fear of God come, signs and wonders, that means you are now reverencing God. Amen? Then you see God begin to walk. God begin to do wonders and signs in your life. Are we together? Sir. Do you have the fear of God in you? Search me, O oh God. Search me, O oh God. Bow down your heads wherever you are. Bow down your heads. I want you to pray now. We're about to enter. Because in the breaking of bread, holy communion, and in prayer. So whoever should eat of the holy communion must examine themselves and purge themselves from sin. So because if you do it without asking God for forgiveness, see so then you do, you are what you are guilty of the body of Christ. You are guilty of his death if you don't ask for forgiveness before you take it. But if you don't ask for forgiveness, you are telling God that you are sinning willfully. You don't regard him as God also. As your head's about, talk to him right now. Ask for mercy for every mistake you have made in life. Talk to him. Talk to him. Don't forget, he looks in the inside, he looks at your heart. And the heart you want to see is the pure heart. The heart like David, who will always go to God, Father, forgive me. And the Bible says, God will always forgive him. And he become a man after God's own heart because he understands the principles. Talk to him right now. Forget about everything else. Know that you are talking to God himself, not to man. Talk to him right now. 
That's it. Talk to him. Father, have mercy, Lord. Wherever we have fallen short, Spirit of a living God, let your mercy prevail, O oh God. Let your mercy prevail, O oh God. In my thoughts, in my words, in my deeds, the sins I've done that I know, nobody, nobody sin and say, I don't know that I was sinning. Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me. Talk to him. Talk to him. Father, forgive me. Cleanse me with the blood. I'm about to partake of the Holy Communion. It's your body and your blood to remember that you died for me. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, 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 Holy Spirit. I want you to go deeper as you are talking to him. I want you to go deeper. Don't do it lightly. You have heard him. He said the hour coming now is when the two worshippers Ask of forgiveness with sincerity, with consciousness that indeed you reverence him as God. Don't just talk like you are talking to a friend. This is about you and him now. He sees you in the heart. Not, he does not look at your face. He looks at us from the inside. Because he's the one that creates us. He knows what we are thinking. Talk to him now. Talk to him now. Talk to him now. Talk to him now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, rise up on your feet. Can I get to ministers? Pastors, let's come quickly. Pastors, come. Mom, come. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Pastors, come quickly. Come quickly. Rise up, rise up. Be in the spirit now. Can we get some songs quickly? Lift it up. Be in, be in the atmosphere of prayer. No children, just the adults. In the atmosphere of prayer, Father, I bless the emblem that represents your body and your blood. See, this fruit of the vine shall be, as it is blessed, be your blood. And the bread that we break, your body that was broken for us. See, do this in remembrance of me. Father, we are doing it because we are believers. We believe that you came and you died. You shed your blood. You received 39 stripes on your bare body for our sickness and our infirmities. We believe, oh God, and we are doing it to remember you that put us one as one body for we share one bread and we all drink one blood. Bless it now in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Can you go stand right there, amen? Let's start from the first row. Please come quickly as possible. We'll do this in just the next five minutes so that we can round up. Do it by line, please. Let's do quickly, quickly, second row. Do it faster. First row, evangelist. Let go quickly, 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 quickly. If you have asked God for forgiveness and you know you are a believer, you are qualified to take it. Thank you, Jesus. Just open it and stand by. Thank you for coming faster. On this side, let's come quickly. Let's come. 
Pastor Dennis, can you go to the choir and the instrumentalist? What you are holding in your hand is holy. It's holy. It's holy. Can you just talk to him now? Everything God gives to us is for our benefits. As you reverence him, talk to him. As you reverence him, talk to him. Thank you, Jesus. said this is your body which is broken for us thank you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit thank you Lord for dying for us thank you for shedding your blood for receiving all those stripes that today we can pray for healing and we can be healed if you have not died there will have been no healing there will have been no deliverance. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Bless. Let it, there be healing today. Any brokenness, any broken heart, any pain, any sickness, any disease, as we take, Father, may there be divine power. May there be divine healing divine intervention I bless it in the name of the Father the Son and of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name shall we partake the same man also he took the cup after giving thanks give it to them and say this is my blood which is shed for thee drink ye all of it in remembrance of me lift up the cup Father we bless I bless the cup. Let it be transformed. Let your power take over now. Your blood is powerful. Breathe upon it now. Accept it, O Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Shall we partake? Just sing it and begin to thank God. All over everybody. Sing it loud and clear. Wonder walking power. In the blood, in the blood of the Lamb, there is power.
Lift up your hands wherever you are. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Spirit of a living God, the one that called us and knows us, as our hands are lifted now, I pray a blessing upon your people. Amen. I pray a blessing upon your people. Amen. I pray a blessing upon your people. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As we have just partaken of your body and blood. Amen. I pray right now, if a there be any sickly among you. Amen. Any sickness in your body. Amen. Spirit of the living God, locate that one now. Amen. Locate that one now. Amen. Locate that one now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As you stand with your hands lifted. Amen. I pray your faith also increase now. Amen. Because Jesus said, Be made whole according to your faith. Amen. Those that believe, begin to receive it now. I receive it. Begin to receive it now. I receive. Begin to receive it now. I receive. Receive a miracle now. I receive. Receive it. divine healing now. I receive. Receive it. open door now. I receive. Be lifted now. Amen. I command every darkness to roll away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every witchcraft manipulation yes, from your family line, yes, from that village oh. that are saying no to your progress, yes, that are saying no to your uplifting, yes, that are saying no to your rising, yes, I come against them in the name of Jesus. Yes, I bind every witch and wizard, yes, I bind every darkness, yes, I bind every sickness, yes, I command them now, yes, God, fire and come out. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Blood of Jesus locate you now. Amen. Blood of Jesus set you free now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command that neck pain to disappear. Amen. I command that neck pain to disappear. Amen. Marco Brahando Ziabasetaya. Yes, sir. Amen. Zikabonto Briando Pahalusata. Amen. Ekurabo Sita. Limpero Sata. Yes, sir. Spirit of the living God. Amen. Heal that heart. Amen. Heal that breast. Amen. Heal that headache now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command lung disease to disappear. Amen. I command cancer to go. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I command diabetes to go Amen. by fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Be healed in your blood. Amen. I command COVID disease, yes, COVID sir. symptoms yes, to leave your bodies now. Amen. I build a wall of defense Amen. by the blood of Jesus Amen. against sicknesses and disease. Amen. They shall not come to you. Amen. You shall not die, yes, but you shall live. Yes, you and your household. Yes, I cover you the blood of Jesus. Amen. I cover you the blood of Jesus. Amen. I cover you the blood of Jesus. Amen. As you're about to walk out of here, Amen. you are walking into faith victory. Amen. You are walking into favor. Amen. I command men to favor you. Amen. I command men to favor you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command the eye to be healed. Amen. Marco Bredodosia. Amen. Amen. I command your calves. Amen. Your nerves to Amen. be made whole. Amen. My Lord of Shatter. Amen. Holy Ghost. That back pain. Go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Get out of their bodies. Amen. Get out of their bodies. Amen. Including those that will be watching live. Yes, sir. Wherever you are, Amen. receive a miracle now. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for the pregnant women. Yes, I command your babies now. Amen. Begin to turn the right way. Amen. I command overdue pregnancies yes, to give birth immediately. Amen. Under the sound of my voice. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command darkness to go. Amen. 
every strong man bow and come out I rebuke you demon of darkness come out of their lives come out of their businesses come out of their finances come out of their jobs come out of their stay in the name of Jesus Amen. Spirit of the living God, you are God. Amen. You are God. Let that door be open. Amen. Where there was rejection from today, acceptance. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I announce your victory. Amen. I announce your marriage. Amen. I announce your establishment Amen. of that business. Yes, In the name of Jesus. Amen. I announce your green card. Amen. I announce your citizenship. Amen. I command immigration situations yes, to bow in the name of Jesus. Amen. The doors be open out for you. That court case, I command it now yes, in your favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command now every plan of darkness yes, that the enemy has laid wait for you. Oh. You shall not fall into it. Amen. You shall not fall into it. Amen. I command you now to be uprooted Amen. from your way in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command mountain to disappear. Amen. To move down into the sea. Amen. I command your way to be made perfect. Amen. I command your way to be made straight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Ghost, let your fire descend. Amen. Let your fire locate that brother. Amen. Let your fire locate that sister. Amen. Let your fire locate that child. Amen. Right under the sound of my voice. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Touch that man now. Amen. Touch that woman now. Amen. Touch that man now. Amen. Touch that woman now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every padlock yes. that lock you up. I command it to be up. Marabo setalabaya. Lift up those hands. Spirit of a living God. Yes, sir. Spirit of a living God. Amen. Spirit of a living God. Amen. What man cannot do? Amen. Only you can do. Amen. What man cannot fix? Amen. Only you can fix. Amen. Fix it for that sister. Amen. Fix it for that brother. Amen. Do it for that man. Amen. Do it for that woman. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So that our light will shine. Amen. And we give you all the glory, Father. Amen. We worship you. Amen. Receive glory and honor today. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Somebody shout a louder, Amen. Amen. Somebody shout a louder, amen. amen. Somebody jump up and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Jump up and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Jump up and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hand and thank him now. Just thank him right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank him right now. He has done the incredible in your life. Thank in you, the name of Jesus. Amen. And of course, if you came here sick or with pain, check yourself, it's gone. It's gone in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's gone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we worship you. We thank you Receive Lord. glory and honor. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your tithe in your hands quickly. Let it be blessed before we leave here. Lift up your tithe. If you come with your seed, lift it up. Lift up your envelopes. Those who come with their prayer requests, come to the altar quickly. As I bless the tithe, I'm blessing you also. Come with your prayer requests quickly. Come with your tithe. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let's do it quickly, quickly. We are done. Quickly, quickly, quickly. If you come with your tight, come upstairs. Come up here. Come with your tight. You stand up here. This is your week for your tight. Come up. Come up with tight. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Prayer request. Prayer request. Stand behind them quickly. Prayer request. If you have your tight, you are here with your prayer request. You stay here. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Leko Baros Kiandesh. If you come in late, you did not give your offering, it may rise up with your offering. You come in late and you forget to give your offering or you were not here for offering, make sure you give your offering. Lift up the tithe. Father, I bless the tithe. It is your commandment that will bring in the tithe into your house so that we continue to preach your gospel, so that we continue to pay the bills, so that we continue to put gas to visit members to pray for the sick, Lord, to move to another level in your kingdom work. We give you praise that we can worship God in a good atmosphere. It is because of these ones that are obeying your word and bringing their tithe so that we can continue to preach the gospel. Bless them one by one. Those who are here, those who are not here, those who are giving it right now online through Cash App, Father, may you bless them. May you bless them. May you bless their finances, bless their bank accounts, bless their businesses, wherever they are. Holy Ghost, locate them now. 
for a miracle. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now drop your tights quickly. Drop your tights. Lift up your prayer request. Lift up your prayer request. Just remain standing. Lift up your prayer request. Prayer request. Maroski Dedo Shadia. Lift up your prayer request. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You forget your prayer request. Stand up and lift up your hand. You forget your prayer request. Stand up and lift up your hand. The Lord knows your request. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord knows. It's even before we ask Him. He knows what we want. Today, the Lord will locate you also as you stand up on your feet. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mother, bless their, their prayer request. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We honor you. I want to say thank you for answering our prayers. You already know each and every one their heart desire. Thank you, Father, for granting us our heart desire. Those that are not here, Holy Ghost, look at them with their prayer point. Those that are watching, Holy Ghost, look at them in the name of Jesus. Those that didn't hear about the news, Father, they are here with us spiritually, Lord. Physically, they are here with us. Holy Ghost, church. Church, each and every envelope right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because you already done it. I want to give you praise because I believe you have answered also, God. You have answered your people. I just want to say thank you, Adonam. I just want to say thank you, Elohim. We give you praise. We honor you. We say thank you for manifestation, Lord. Thank you for the testimony that are coming because of this prayer point, oh God. Thank you because your people are going to glorify your name for what you have already done. Thank you for this manifestation. To you be the glory and honor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Remain standing. Remain standing right there. Remain standing right there in the name of Jesus. Remain standing right there. Come. Come, come, come. come. Get me that oil. You have seeds. Lift up your seeds also. Father, the seeds are blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Move this, move this, move this, move this. Amen. As I touch you, I'm traveling tomorrow. I'm releasing a special blessing now upon everybody in this place today. By the time I come back, you will line up with testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. With your seeds or with your prayer requests lifted up. I'm going to anoint each and every one of you. This month, God will answer your prayer. I said this month, God will answer your prayer. In the name of Jesus. He said, anoint them with oil. As I anoint you, you drop your prayer request. In the name of Jesus. Father, accept this request. Bless in Jesus' name. Accept this request. Bless. Let there be an answer now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It is settled by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless you now. Bless your, your hand. That's it. Something's happening to this woman. That, that is transformation. That's taking place. In the name of Jesus. Help her, help her, help her. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless your request be accepted now. In the name of Jesus. Your time has come. Go and succeed. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, receive. Bless. Let there be multiple returns. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless your, your request. Drop your request. Drop your request and your seed, whatever you have. As I anoint you, you drop it and you, you go. Father, bless this special prayer request. This is the month, this is the season. It's the month of the Spirit. Father, let your Spirit manifest. In the name of Jesus. Help her, help her. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, accept now. In the name of Jesus. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Jesus, help her. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, bless. Father, bless. Let our testimony be permanent. Power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This is your season. Take it. That's it, that's it, that's it. In the name of Jesus, your life will never be the same again. Go and start a new beginning. It is your time. In Jesus' name, the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. This is the month of the Spirit. Manifest! 
good news in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go and receive your miracles. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, this request is unto you, not unto man. As they put it in there, write it. Father, let this month don't pass. Let her have a testimony. Let her have a testimony. Take testimony in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Your life will never be the same again. Daughter, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Multiple testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Spirit, we give you praise. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Bless him now for divine transformation. Thank you, Lord. Your name is worthy to be praised. We worship you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son and Holy Ghost. If this is your this month is your birthday, expect good things in this month. In the name of Jesus. Your it is blessed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Rise up wherever you are now. Just rise up now. Do we have any first timer here? Any first timer here? Amen. 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 Thank you, Holy Ghost. Some people thought I have traveled. You know, I don't announce everything on time. Hallelujah. If you don't understand how Apostle move. Amen. Amen, somebody. They'll say, ah, I thought Apostle move is, is preaching. He's still here. Someone say, Hallelujah. Someone say, Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says, by their fruit, you shall know them. Amen. Some people thought I'm not around. So that... <laughs> That's how you can miss your blessing. No. Don't come for me. Come because you love God and you love the church. In Jesus' name, lift up your hands and join it with somebody by your side. Join it with somebody by your side. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we join our hands, you see the, the apostles and the believers were in one accord. We stay in one accord now. Let the blessing flow through everybody here. Let there be transformation. Let there be open heaven. In the name of Jesus. The early church, there was none poor among them. There was none sick among them. Father, as we join hands, there will be none poor in this congregation. There will be none sick in this congregation. From today, I decree goodness in their lives. I decree goodness in their lives. From today, it says, seed time and harvest time shall not cease. Father, let it be their portion in the name of Jesus. May they come back with multiple fold testimonies. Thank you, Father. I send them out like a sheep. Father, may their light shine. Anyone that will come under persecution, give them grace to stand in the name of Jesus. Father, speak through them that they will glorify your name. We worship you, Lord. Use them to bless somebody else outside that your name be exalted. We thank you for the testimony of saving that girl's life. You are worthy. Thank you, Father. That those who serve, you say we honor them. Those who come to worship you, you will honor them. And we are holding on to your word because it shall come to pass in due season. And this is our season. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. For surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. The rest. One more time. Personalize it. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.